Good evening, Britain. Tonight, I'd like to talk about shark fishing. <laughs> but I don't know the first thing about it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to talk about something else, I think. And anyway, the BBC have asked me to talk about sex again. So, <clears throat> sex, that's my topic for this week. And as you can see, uh, Kevin Turvey. <laughs> yeah, but apart from that, what you can see as well is that I've been doing a lot of research into this problem. I've been uh, to the swimming pool. I've been to the dirty bookshop. I've been to the undertakers. That was a bit of a miscalculation, really. <laughs> well, the undertakers is like next door to the dirty bookshop, you know. And I wasn't concentrating very hard at the time. <laughs> No, but they were very helpful in there, you know, I went in, I said, Good afternoon, my name's Kevin Turvey, and I'm mainly interested in sex. <laughs> and they gave me a few hints, like, you know, they weren't hints about sex, really, so much as hints about banging your head on a coffin and getting thrown through a window by undertakers. <laughs> Which was okay, you know, but it wasn't really what I was investigating this week, you know. And I had to waste quite a lot of time looking for a chemist to buy some bandages, you know. <laughs> do you know how much bandages cost? Yeah, nor do I. <laughs> well, the chemists were closed. <laughs> it took me three hours to find that out. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> you know me. Well, you don't. Well, I know me, anyway. But <laughs> if you're someone like me, right, then time is money, as they say. Although I don't quite know who they are that say it. Uh, <laughs> probably clock makers, I suppose, and bank managers. Certainly ain't bank robbers. You don't get a bank robber going into the bank and saying, All right, mate, give us the time. Hey, come on, give us the time and no funny business. Are you flicking the V's at me? Look, these ain't the V's, this is a gun. All right. Well, they look like the V's to me, mate. Look, just hand over the money, all right? Stick it all in this bag, all right? And no monkey business. What, you mean like going, eh, eh, I'm a monkey? Yeah, that's the kind of thing. Now, are you going to cooperate or do I have to start getting strange? <laughs> No, I ain't gonna cooperate. Not until you prove that that's a gun. Go on, fire a bullet with your V's, mate. <laughs> Listen, mate, I'm a dangerous criminal and I ain't got much time. <laughs> All right, then, so fire a bullet, scarf, eh? <laughs> this isn't a scarf, it's a beard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, just stop wasting time, mate. All right, and fire a bullet with your V's or get out of it. All right. Right, I will. Bang! What do you think about that, mate? What do I think about what? What do I think about you going bang while your fingers is waggling? <laughs> I think it's pathetic. That's what I think about it, basically. Get yourself a real gun. All right, then I will. Martin, give us a gun, will you? Uh? Right, mate, what do you think about that? Stick them up. All of them. Blimey, OK, mate. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, you stick them up. <laughs> City first, you stick them up, you twat. <laughs> now you stick them up, I've got a gun, mate. Listen, I. Well, I think you get the basic point, anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, like. Uh... Was you talking to him? <laughs> Oh, you wasn't? Oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, I think that's about all the time we've got for you this week. <laughs> Golly, is that the time? <laughs> so, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you there, you know. I mean, all great things have to come to an end, don't they? I mean, look at the M6, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, don't look at it now, you know. But when you're up there, have a look at it, because it's a great road. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's at times like this, I'll always remember what Teresa Kelly once said to me. She said, why don't you sod off, Kevin Turvey? <laughs> and, you know, I think I know what she meant. So until next week, this is Kevin Turvey saying, do up your trousers, keep your shoes clean, and don't tell anyone you saw this programme, all right? <laughs>